What's up, everybody? Happy Sunday to you. Happy February the 12th. Yeah, 12th. Hope everybody's doing well. Got a little iPad going here so I can keep up on the comments. Make sure everybody's doing okay. I'll catch up here in just a sec. But, uh, yeah. If uh, you're new, how many people we got here? I got to make sure. Uh, I'm looking at ads right now. So give me a sec. I always like to give a few minutes for everybody to hop on before we get going. Jim Dabrowski to say I'm Lima Charlie. I'm surprised I can actually see the comments on my phone. But thanks, Jim, for letting me know. Well, let me click on that and then that and that. Good Lord, YouTube and its ads. I get it. I know I get it. They drive me nuts, too. But uh, they do... Uh, I'm sure they pay the bills for somebody. Not really for me, but for somebody, I'm sure. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali's here. Man, we're getting big time. I'll adjust that a little. All right. Let me catch up here a little. Uh, Chris Olson, turn this off. Hold on. Chris Olson, that's not the kind of comments we do here, so... Yeah, I'm not logged into my own account, but if I was, I'd delete that. That's that's not what we uh, represent here, Chris. So anyway, uh, like I said, Jim Dabrowski's here. Jason C., Mark Pearson, Rick Wancourt. Rick, good to see you. Thanks for fishing with me the other day. You and Ray, you guys, you guys were a blast to have on the boat. Really cool. T.D. Schlaub, good to see you, Tim. Muhammad Ali also, like I said. Scott Creek, same evening. If you see somebody's name in green... And uh, that means that they are a member of the Tangle Tackle Army. And if you want to join that Tangle Tackle Army, the link is in the description. You're welcome to do so. And, uh, yeah, what we do is uh, we have a private Discord page, and we go on there, and we talk a lot of fishing and other nonsense and uh, just fun things like that. So you're welcome to join. Chris Olson saying sorry. I understand. But, uh, yeah, that's not what we do here, Chris. You know that. You've been here a long time. Anyway, we're not going to beat that up. Bill Gerlach, always good to see you. So if you are new here, and we always get new people out here, my name is Chris. I run Dark Blue Charters here in Manistee, Michigan. I'm basically just some idiot that talks into the phone every Sunday night, or on occasion some Monday nights, today being Monday. So it's what we do. We talk fishing. We go over certain, uh, certain topics that people like. Tonight's topic is wind rider outdoor clothing, and uh, we'll, we'll talk in depth about that. I'll give you an honest review. I've been wearing Wind Rider clothing now for about the last two months, and I'll give you my my insights on why I uh, went with that brand over others, and how I liked it, what I don't like about it, and maybe some reasons. Uh, just give you guys and gals some ideas. If you're looking for some outdoor clothing, we'll uh, hopefully give you some information that guides you in your quest. Pat Yuhan, good to see you. Patrick Yuhan is here from GRC Trolling Products. Always good to see you. Just a pro also, Teresa Flanders, a name I see in, on here also all the time. So I know the people come on here and they like, man, this guy talks too much. But I always like to take a moment to welcome everybody, say hello to everyone. And then we'll get into our topic. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll jump right into the topic for tonight. And then uh, we'll do a Q&A after that like we always do. And if you have any questions, hopefully I have answers for you. If, uh, if I don't, I will talk to the people that know a lot more than I do and hopefully find out for you at a later time what that answer might be. Craig Rao, yeah, you're back on it. Craig, good to see you, man. Craig, am I saying your last name right? Is it Rao, R-A-U, or is it Rao? I, I don't even want to try it any other way. Let me know, please, Craig. If I'm, if I'm destroying that, which I do commonly with other names, please let me know. So again, forgive me, I'm looking at an iPad while I'm talking. It's just part of the game, I gotta do that. Trying to think if there's any housekeeping things. Oh, um, the giveaway for Repos Rescues. So that Nova Rod went to <laughs> went for the first person who never contacted me. Went to the second person, Stephen Marines, is who I think that was. They never contacted me. So that thanks, Craig. Appreciate that. Uh, so that Nova Rod, I'm going to draw a third person for here over the next couple of days, and. I will get uh, get that information out probably either this week or next Sunday, whoever that winner is. So hopefully third time is the charm on that rod. I mean, it's a nice rod. It's what I'm running on the river. The Nova Tackle 11.6 Baitcaster Spiral Wrapped. That's a nice rod. So 
hopefully we will get that into the hands of somebody that, uh, that wants it. Why wouldn't you want it? It's a nice rod, man. It's free, too. That's the best stuff. Let's check the poll. So, poll for tonight is, you got four choices. I was rooting for, and of course I'm talking about the Super Bowl. Chad Douglas, hi, back to you. I was rooting for the Niners, the Chiefs, the commercials, or I fell asleep. Uh, out front, the Niners, 32%. Chiefs at 18. Commercials at 18. 32%. I fell asleep. I fell asleep for a little while, too. Uh, just at the end of the first half, I nodded off, and I woke up about halfway through the halftime show, and I caught Usher, I don't know, for the last five, six, seven minutes, maybe. I thought he put on a good show. Uh, I'd like to see Alicia Keys there. That was pretty cool. I thought, uh, it's nice to see somebody put on a show that's not lip-syncing, and I, I'm pretty sure I could tell that he was not. And I've never been an Usher fan in any way. Uh, I, I respect him. I think he has great music. It's just not something I've always listened to, but I thought he put on a heck of a show. So, nice job. Usher, if you're watching, nice job. Nick, Nick, I know you told me how to say your last name, Nick, and I'm sorry, so I'm just going to say Nick. You say you have that Nova Rod, it's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, it is. That's why I'm running also. So, cool. Uh, so, let, let's get into the topic of the week. I'm not running my normal OBS studio tonight, so no cool graphics here. Topic of the week, here we go. Wind Rider outdoor gear. I'm gonna set this down for the time being. So if you have any questions, please hold them until until the end because I'm not gonna really be able to see them. But let's let's talk about Wind Rider and why I went with Wind Rider <clears throat> and what I think Wind Rider can offer to you. So oh <laughs> where do I want to start here? Where do I want to start? So I guess I'll go back to the beginning of fall, around fall time, you know. I started thinking about, you know, I knew I was going to be getting back out on the river a lot more. I, I was focusing more on getting back out ice fishing as well, and I knew I needed, uh, I knew I needed some better gear. I had been using my, my uh, Carhartt bibs, my uh, Arctic Carhartt bibs, and my Arctic Carhartt jacket for the last couple of years, and I know that's not the smart thing to do. And so... And you go on the water with the Carhartt on, you're basically wearing a sponge, and uh, it's not going to do much to, to help you out. So I've been wanting to get a better set of outdoor gear, uh, bibs and a jacket, maybe a hat, some gloves, mittens, whatnot. So, you know, some names obviously jumped into mind. And the other names out there, you already know who they are, probably, you know, Stryker. Um, <laughs> the other ones are eluding me right now, but you know what I'm saying. There's some, there's some big names out there. Wind Rider, I had been seeing on social media, you know, especially on Facebook, I think, more than anything else. I've been seeing ads for Wind Rider pop up, you know, pretty often. But, you know, you see a lot of crap pop up on Facebook that you wonder, is this, is this some piece of garbage company that's not going to stand behind their product? You know, just give you garbage. You're never, never, never able to talk to somebody at customer service. You, you always wonder about those things. Because social media, and here I am talking on social media, so you know, beautiful, right? But social media is full, full of scams. And every, anybody that's on social media for more than a minute knows that already. So you're always hesitant thinking about, you know, which way you want to go on these things. So Wind Rider caught my eye, though. So I went and I did what anybody does these days when they want to research. They go to YouTube. YouTube is a place where basically you want to learn how to do something. You want to go change out the engine on your uh, Volvo XC90? Go watch a seven-minute YouTube video and go to town, and you'll probably be able to get it figured out. So I went to YouTube and I started looking at Wind Rider products, the other products as well, <clears throat> and I saw a lot of good positive feedback. For really, there was two or three companies that really caught my eye. Wind Rider being one of them. So past that, I started looking into the comments. You know, that's where everybody seems to want to go. When you want the skinny on something, you don't just watch the video, you look in the comments because that's where, that's where you're going to find the truth in that, in the matter. And that's, that's what I did. I went to the comments on the Wind Rider video, the competitors videos, and I read those, and those gave me a real strong feeling about Wind Rider. Everything that I read about Wind Rider, bar a few, a rare few, was positive. So the next thing I did is I started researching the product itself, researching the company itself. That's what we all do. We want to make sure we buy a quality product. When you're spending two, three, four hundred bucks on something, you want to make sure you're getting what you paid for. 
So I started looking into the company and I found Windrider's YouTube page and I found that they're very family oriented. Uh, based in Minnesota, if I, did I just say Minnesota? Based in Minnesota, if I remember correctly. And uh, I liked the look of their YouTube page. It looked like the owner was strong into his family, you know, taking his, taking his young ones out fishing. I just liked the vibe uh, that it gave off. So I contacted him. And I uh, sent, sent them an email and I said, hey, I'm, I'm a dummy and I have a small YouTube channel. I'm looking to try your product out. Can we, uh, can we make some kind of a deal? And it, really, we didn't come to much of an understanding other than I still paid for what, what I got. Put it that way. I still paid for it. But I like the conversations that I had uh, with that person who's in charge of their social media, their marketing, things like that. I like the conversation that we had. So I said, this is what I'm going to do. I wanted to like to do some videos for you guys, if possible. And he said, yeah, absolutely. We'd love to love to see those go out there, get the public interested. I said, but what I want to do is I want to see if I can get some discounts for our viewers in exchange for that. He said, yeah, we can do something like that. So I would tell you this right now. If you are interested in Windrider products, you can get a discount. Stick around to the end of this conversation. I'll tell you what the discount code is, or you can... Go look in the comment or look in the description right now. It's there also. Everybody's clicking off right now. I'll probably look at that. It is in the description also what you can, uh, what you can get off your for your product. So uh, I ordered <clears throat> I ordered the uh, the beret suit uh, and the beret suit is a it's a cold weather suit, flotation, um, wind resist or windproof basically. I can tell you that from wearing it. Windproof, rainproof. Supposedly extremely warm, two-piece bib jacket. Hello, kitty. Kitty's rubbing on my leg down there. Um, I, I bought a hat as well, one of the knit hats, and I bought some of the flip flip mittens, which are basically gloves. They have the mitten that fold over. So I got all that stuff a couple months ago. He also sent me a couple of nice shirts to wear. Uh, a couple of the, uh, you want to jump up on me so bad. All right, come on up for a second. All right, yes, yes. Hello, kitty. You want to say hi to everybody real quick? No, you just want to crawl up me? Okay, there you go. All right. Thanks, kitty. Got some of the long sleeve uh, moisture wicking shirts as well. Picked up a couple of those. And uh, I started putting that all that on. You know, he's going to crawl right into my, my Wind Rider suit. That's fine. Started putting all that together and putting it on and wearing it like, like I said, last couple of months. Out on the river, uh, going out on, on the ice. I, did, I never did get out on ice fishing. But I took it down there one day, threw it on, walked around out on the ice when the wind was really, really whipping because I wanted to give that a test. I've had it out on the river now in well below freezing days, high wind days, uh, mid-30 days, low 40 days, below 10 degree days, um, rainy days, snowy days. I really wanted to put it to the test before I was anywhere near comfortable coming on here and saying, I either like it or I hate it. Uh, and that was the deal, what I told Windrider. I'm going to give you any kind of endorsement or anything else until I get a good trial period on this thing. And I think that I've tested it long enough now where I can give you my honest opinion. So let's just take a look at it here to start. Like I said, this is the Boreas suit, B-O-R-E-A-S. I think I'm saying that right. <clears throat> they do offer, they have a Hayward suit as well, which is a really, really nice suit. It is a, uh, it's a step above the Boreas. It has a removable liner. It has different cut. It has not only the solid colors, it also has a camel pattern, like a brush or a, a waterfowl camel, rather. Uh, they also have rear available. They also have hats, shirts, you name it. They have about anything available. And they're all shipped right here in Michigan. Their shipping hub is in Michigan, which is pretty darn cool. But this is the Bayes suit. And this is, I don't want $3.99, I think, something like that. If I'm wrong, I apologize. You have to go on the website and take a look yourself. But it's not cheap. I'll say that. But, is it warm? Is it comfortable? Is it dry? We'll talk about all that. First off, I'll start off right here. Sizing. That's a big thing with some things. You, you go and order something online, and you wonder if it's going to fit when you get here. I wear an XL. I'm like in between a large XL, somewhere in float around there, depending on how many poochkies I eat. Um, sizing is accurate. I, I bought an XL, and it gives me a little bit of extra room. I'm really comfortable in that. So I'd, I'd say sizing is spot on. Material. Materials quality. This is the jacket. I got the bibs down here that the cat is making his home in right now. Materials are really tough. I don't know what it's, I don't know if you want to call this a, a nylon exterior, some kind of a 
other exterior like that. I can tell you this, so the, the exterior itself is quality. It's not super loud. You know, it does. It makes a little noise. But if you want a waterproof uh, outfit, you're not going to have anything that doesn't make a little, a little touch of noise on you. That's, anything you get waterproof has got a little rub to it. Quality though, quality. I do have a burn spot on the uh, on the bibs. I'll show you real quick. It's good in here, kitty. I'm sorry, I made you get up. I got a little too close to the heater one day on the boat. Let's see if I can find it. And I smelled it before I felt it. Where is that? I apologize. Yeah, I smelled it before I felt it, and then I felt it, and uh, I was really, really surprised. I can't find it right now. I'm sure I will here in a second, but I was surprised. A lot of the uh, the material, the clothing like this I've had in the, in the past, you get it next to a, a high BTU heater like I have on that riverboat, it'll burn a hole in it like that, and then you're, you're walking around with duct tape on your clothing or whatever else feature or whatever else you could do to patch that thing. It did not burn through. I was really surprised. I mean, really surprised. I wish got to be here, right? Anyway, it's hiding on me for some. Oh, there it is, right there, right there. And it, I can believe that that thing did not burn through. It held together. So big surprise to me on that one, because like I said, I've had. This type of material, these these types of clothing, burn through like that on heaters before. You get too close to your Mr. Buddy and you're screwed. So the material is good, really good, I would say. I would put it at uh, like a 9, 5 out of 10, 9 out of 10, somewhere in there. Inside, really soft, really comfortable. And that, this is what I like about good quality clothing outlets that take the time to do things like this. Soft material inside the neck. So where it goes around the neck, Nice and soft. It's not that same material that's on the outside. They do have a removable hood. I have mine off right now uh, because I'm normally wearing a hoodie underneath the thing. And if I want a hoodie up, I just do that. Never been a big hood guy. I don't. I don't like that thing. I never understood the hoodie. The hoodie craze, but that's just because I'm old, I guess. But they take the time to make it enjoyable to wear for people. Softness, you know, even around here where the zipper comes up. <clears throat> So inside outside material, fantastic. Pocket design. That's one thing we're always wanting to see when we're out there fishing. Is where can I store my stuff while I'm out there? Plenty of pockets on this thing. That was one of the first things I looked at as well. Little D-rings like here. Little D-rings to attach maybe a flashlight or whatever else you want to hang off there, a GPS, whatever. Flat or up. Pockets here for your phone. Pockets on the side, not only a great big cargo pocket, but also an inside fleece line pocket right there as well. Now my hands are almost always in that fleece line pocket. Really, really nice. Same thing on the other side, big cargo pocket, fleece line pocket on the inside. Well put together jacket. Let's grab the bits. Again, same material. Suspender style bibs, that's the back, that's the front. Again, pocket design, zipper designs, the same things we were always looking at. Pocket design on the, on the bibs, smart, real smart. Cargo pocket here, right in the front. Side fleece line pocket again, here. But then inside this cargo pocket, there's a zipper. And you can reach down in your jeans or whatever you're wearing underneath this thing to get things out of your pocket. I don't know how many times in other bibs or other follow other gear or whatever, you got to unzip it or reach down through the side to get to your pocket, to get to your keys or your phone or whatever the heck you're trying to grab. Windrider, freaking kudos to you for finally doing something that everybody likes. You can reach right down through there and get, get down inside your pants. It doesn't, it doesn't sound right, but that's what you can do. Same thing on both sides. Same things. Big cargo pocket, fleece lined inside pocket. More D-rings to hang things off of. And again, that access down you know, below to get inside, you know, into your inner garments. <coughs> same material, same material. I think the material is the same on 
both this Boreas as well as their Hayward suit. I think it's the same material um, versus, you know, whatever the camo, camo pattern might be on a coating, things like that. So, uh, bib, bib suspenders, good quality. They have, I've been wearing the heck out of this thing, like I said. They still got a ton of elastic in them. They do have a nice, and I, I love this, and it's just a little thing, but I love it because I've had so many other pairs of bibs where they don't put a little loop right there in the back, right there, so you can hang the dang things up, not by the straps, stretching those stupid straps out. They put a loop there. I mean, it's probably two cents to, to companies, but so many don't do that. Love that thing. It's just the little things that they think they think about elastic inside where you know along the uh, along the underarm there elastic there more soft panels elastic around the waist as well so many bibs don't have that also but elastic there so I mean it hugs to you what else knees that's a big thing ice fishermen um, no, for whatever reason. The knees have a really, really strong exterior exterior fabric on those. Really, really strong. And inside there is probably about um, probably about that much padding. So when you're running over your tip up or you're 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 scooping out your uh, your holes or whatever you're doing, you know, you're always you're always probably over on your knees out there ice fishing. Not only is this thing going to keep you dry, because I tested it, I dumped my legs in the water, I dumped my arms in the water, I did all sorts of stuff to test this thing. Not only is it going to keep you dry, it doesn't tear your knees up when you're out there on the ice. And you know what it's like tearing your knees up there on the ice. <clears throat> Zippers. Zippers were smart. I mean, they're just, they just make sense. And I've had, like I said, we've all had... The other style or the other manufacturers that have these things that they just don't think about things. So front zipper, front zipper right here. Zip it up. Not only does it have a zipper, it has Velcro tabs because you know sometimes if I do this all the time, I grab onto the top of my bibs like that um, with both hands. I'll stand there like that. <coughs> it's just comfortable for me. And sometimes I pull that zipper open. Little extra reinforcement. Again, just smart little things. Little extra Velcro tabs to keep that zipper closed. We all gotta go to the little boys' room, little girls' room sometimes. Zipper also opening from the bottom. So you don't have to, that's from the bottom up, from the, uh, from the inseam up. So you don't have to reach up, or you don't have to take the top zipper, bring that thing all the way down, wiggle out of this thing. The zipper opens from the bottom up also, so you can go use the little boys and little girls room. Again, it just makes sense, but some companies don't do that. They chintz out on things. <clears throat> Side leg zippers, same thing. We all like to, you know, we'll leave our boots on, and we'll, when we want to take our things off, we want to take our clothing off without taking our boots off. Zippers open all the way, I mean, from the bottom all the way up to your hip, okay? And it's the same thing. Of course, I just caught that thing on the side. <coughs> Excuse me. So, it'll close up all the way down to the bottom. And at the bottom, again, Wind Rider, good for you. Two snaps down here that will close in over your boots, suck the bottom of your pants in around your boots. So a closure there, a closure there, and a closure here also. And then again, Velcro all the way up the side so that thing absolutely stays closed. And top and bottom zippers. If you wanna open from the bottom up, you can do so. If you wanna open from the top down, you can do so. Little reflective material here and there. You can see it right here along the knee line. A little bit of white or grayish, whatever. That's a little bit of reflective. The jacket has that also. You know, you're out there on the ice early morning, late night, whatnot, and people are running their sleds around or running their ATVs around. It's nice to have a little, little reflective material 
on you so people aren't people aren't piling into you. And then the then you can't fish for a while. <laughs> so also nice, nice extra padding here on the top of the arms down to the elbow. I wanted to point that out as well. <coughs> So here's the big thing about this suit. I mean, we've looked at it top to bottom now. I pointed out the things that I really like about it. Here's the thing I like about it the most. It will save your life. That is number one. I mean, that's, and, and some companies don't offer this. Some do, I get that, but not all. But these will save your life. And it's something we're gonna test here shortly on this channel, actually. We'll talk about that here in a sec, but this is a flotation suit. Not only in the pant, or in the, uh, in the jacket, but also in the pants. So, God forbid you're out there, you fall off your river boat, you go through a spear, spear hole, you get on thin ice, your ATV goes through, <coughs> what have you. Pardon me while I grab a drink of water. This suit is designed to float, and I forget what the, uh, what the number was, I want to say three hours, and if I'm wrong on that, I apologize. You can take a look at the website. They have a little more in detail on that. But I think it's at least three hours for up to, and I forget the uh, the weight limitation. I, anyway, that's not really important. It's going to save your life. It will. It, you know, it won't save you from hypothermia. It's going to help protect you for a little while longer. But it will keep you up above the, you know, the water, either going under the ice, you, know, you float down the river or whatnot. It will keep you from sinking to the bottom, essentially. Uh, that right there in itself is one of the biggest reasons I went with this suit. But there's another huge reason I went with this suit. And this one, nobody else has. And this, this may have been the absolute tipping point for me on why I went with Windrider. Lifetime warranty. No other suit that I saw out there has a lifetime warranty. And I talked to them about this because I told them. And you guys, a lot, a lot, 300 pounds for two hours. Thanks, Rick. Um, we talked about this on the channel a little while ago. If we raised so much money for the animal rescue, repos rescues here in Manistee, Michigan, that I would jump into the, the ice cold Manistee River in the middle of winter to test this suit out, as well as to uh, say thank you for everybody that donated. So I contacted the rider and I said, hey, I'm an idiot. This is what I'm going to do. Am I going to void my warranty? And because I was obviously a little concerned about that, and they told me no. Said you go in the water with your with your suit. It, we make it to save your life. Why would we Why would we go back on our warranty if it's doing what it's made to do? And that uh, you know light bulb said okay. That, that was pretty much the tipping point for me. So that's what made me go with the Wind Rider essentially. So not only is it going to get you to come home at the end of the day like any good piece of equipment will do, like a good a good a uh, bow hunting vest, you know. <laughs> You know, don't fall out of the tree. Uh, you know, seat belt in a car, whatever it may be, a life jacket in a boat. This thing will save your life. If you go into the water, it's gonna not only gonna keep you from sinking under the water, it'll probably keep you warm enough long, for a long enough time where you can get some help as well. So, huge kudos to Wind Rider. Um, those those of me on this channel, you know, my opinion is not bought and paid for in any way on this channel. I give everything a fair review. If there's something I don't like, just like on my last uh, review on the, on the Stealth Craft boat that I just purchased, there were some things on there I did not like. I'm going to point them out to you. Windrider suit, no exception. Here the thing, here's the one thing that I regret about this suit, and it's only one thing. I regret I didn't buy it two or three years ago. I can't find anything on the suit that I don't like. I was out fishing the other day, um, actually with uh, somebody that's on this channel right now. I was out fishing the other day and for the majority of the day, <coughs> I was standing in pretty much what you see me right now. Jeans and a sweatshirt. My boat does have an enclosure so it does help stay warm, but I was out there on the deck a lot of the day. Uh, it was a warmer day, it was only like 33, 34 degrees, so it wasn't terribly cold. But halfway through the day, the wind started to pick up and I started to get a little chill. I threw on my bibs. I didn't throw the jacket on, but I threw on the bibs. <coughs> and instantly, and I mean instantly, and I even said it to the guys on the boat, Rick, you're on here, you can attest to this. I even said, I'm, I'm automatically warm with this thing on. 
automatically. I mean, you can feel the warmth instantly with that thing. So yes, 100% it's gonna keep you warm. The only other thing I will say that might be a negative about this suit is it might keep you too warm. And that's no BS. There's days out there, and I, I run hot-blooded anyway. My wife can tell you about that. She says I'm like a, a furnace. Um, I'm hot-blooded anyway, so a lot of times I'm not putting a lot of layers on. But this suit might keep you too warm. If you're, uh, <laughs> if you're prone to get too warm, Maybe the suit isn't for you, but I doubt that. I doubt that. Everybody that, uh, that wants a hot weather suit or a cold weather suit, rather, wants to stay warm, and that thing will just keep you warm. Rick Wayncourt, there you are, man. <coughs> yeah, we even talked, because Rick, you had a you had a Windrider suit on as well, and we were talking about it. So, yeah, we were talking about that, and I said, as soon as I put, put those bibs on, instantly, instantly warm. <coughs> so, overview. Let's wrap it up. Is it expensive? Yeah, it is. Um, is quality anything expensive? Yes, it is. You buy nice, or what's the old saying? You buy once, you cry once, something like that. And this is no exception. You're gonna pay for this thing. You're gonna pay for the quality that you're getting. But look on look on the side of, it's a lifetime warranty. So you're gonna buy once, you're gonna cry once. So yeah, expensive, I'll, I'll give you that. Is it worth it? Absolutely. 100% in my opinion. If it wasn't, I wouldn't tell you about it right now. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If it was a piece of crap, I would tell you right now that it's a piece of crap. You guys know that about this channel. You, you trust that I'm gonna bring you the right stuff and that that's, that's true. Sorry, I just got water in my mustache. Um, does it keep you warm? So these are the big questions that I had. Does it keep you warm? 100%, absolutely. Like I said, almost too warm on days. Does it keep you dry? Absolutely, it is waterproof. Uh, I, I can tell you that because I've been out in the rain with it. And it's a funny thing when you're in the rain in February, but I've been in the rain with it. I've been in the snow with it. I've had water spray on it. It is absolutely dry. <clears throat> is it comfortable? Yes, another 100%. Absolutely comfortable. I am, <coughs> I am not a big fan of clothing. How do I want to say this? Um, I'm not a big fan of clothing that, you know, you get the collar in the side of your neck or bunching up. <coughs> I'm sorry. My nose is running. It's colder than heck in the shop. Uh, my nose is running, so it's making me cough. I'm not a big fan of, like I said, the collar that bunches here or the zipper that gets up into your whiskers or the hood behind there that's, you know, always feels like you got a brick behind your head or, you know, it's riding too far up in the inseam. I'm not, I hate that stuff hate it. This has none of that. This is, uh, this is a very, very comfortable suit to wear. You can wear this thing all day long. So, is it worth it? Yes. Is it dry? Yes. Is it warm? Heck yes. Is it comfortable? Yes. Is it worth the purchase? If you're going to spend any time in the outdoors in the cold, yes. One, one million percent, yes. If you're going to spend any time in the outdoors in the cold, and you want to be comfortable and dry? Yes, absolutely. So, this is what I wanted to do with Windrider. <coughs> like I said, I don't want, I'm not looking for anything from those guys. I want to get you guys good gear that I think is uh, that's good gear, okay? I want to get you guys things that I believe in. So, if you're interested in picking up Windrider and hear, after hearing all that, if you're interested in any kind of cold weather suit, I think you probably would be. Do your own research though. I hope this is just one part of your own research. Watch this, go do more. Go do more research, go, go do your own. But if you circle back and you come back and you go, yeah, I wanna buy Windrider, go to windrider.com, the link's down in the description. Now, I don't mean to sound like an infomercial here, I'm not trying to, but I'm trying to save you some money. This is the deal that we worked out. Use the code DARKBLUE10, D-A-R-K-B-L-U-E, 10, one zero, DARKBLUE10, get 10% off on whatever you buy. I had the hat here too. There it is. Get the hat. This hat is super comfortable. Another quality product. I hardly ever wear knit hats. I love wearing this thing. I look like an idiot. That's why I don't wear knit hats. Get the hat if you want a good hat. Super comfortable Windrider hat. 
If you want warm gloves, they have a couple different styles. I tested out the, like I said, the flip top mittens, they call it. It's basically finger, fingerless gloves that has a mitten top that goes over the top. I don't have them with me or I'll show them to you, but the really smart thing about that is when you flip the mitten top back, there's a magnet there that holds that thing in place. How many times in the past have you had open, flip, uh, flip open mitten gloves or fingerless gloves and the top is flipping all over the place, getting in the way? There's a magnet there to hold it in the back. Again, you're, you're thinking, Wind Rider, way to go. So yeah, get the hat, get the glove, get, get the suit, whatever, or don't. Um, don't listen to anything I say and go your own route. We're, that's fine, we'll still be friends. Just trying to give you a little a little opinion on what I think is some quality gear. This is definitely quality gear. All right, I just babbled on there for like a half an hour. What kind of questions you got? What can I answer for you about the suit or anything else? Um, I'm happy to happy to help you out if I can. I got the old iPad going here. I can try to catch up on some of the comments. Chad Douglas saying you put yours on snowblower at five degrees. You were sweating when you came in. Yeah, absolutely. Crap, <laughs> I'll say, yeah, you look like I do look like an idiot in that hat. I look like an idiot all the time, so I'm fine with that. Yeah, um, Joe Kresnick saying you get what you pay for. Absolutely. If you want garbage, you're gonna pay garbage money. If you want good stuff, you're gonna pay good money. All right. Not a lot of questions. That's fine. If you want to talk fishing or anything, we can do it otherwise. I've been on here for, oh, 40 minutes almost. We can get out of here. Somebody just asked, uh, I don't know why it's not popping up here. Oh, I'm in top chat. Hold on, let me change that. There we go. Uh, just a normal guy that has a YouTube channel. What a great name, man. Does the Windrider suit provide float assistance? Yeah, it is It is a flotation suit. I covered that a little already, but that's fine. You must have missed it. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to show you guys, if you sub to this channel and you come back here, we are going to go down and uh, we're going to get a group of us together. We're going to go clean up some uh, river launch areas, just out of the goodness of our hearts, because people are pigs and they make messes. We're going to go clean up some launch areas, and at the end of that, uh, Leroy Downey from Purple Taco Fly Supply is going to supply lunch and I'm going to put that suit on and I'm going to jump off the back of my boat into the river at probably 34 degrees to test that thing out. So that's how much I trust it. If I'm going to trust it with my life, yeah, I, uh, I trust it. Rick Wayne tell us about the fit. Oh, Stevie, yeah, Stevie did catch, okay. Um, Many of you have been on this channel for a long time. You've, you've got to see my little friend, Stevie. Steve, just a quick backstory. Stevie is 11 years old, almost 12. Stevie is an amazing kid. He collects cans and bottles from all around this county and other parts of the state, takes them all in, gets the money for them. <coughs> Sorry. Donates all that money uh, to help out food banks, homeless shelters, He's bought service dogs. He's raised, I think, over $50,000 or more. Maybe way more than that now. He's been on this channel before. I'd love to take this kid fishing. Just love to. He and his mom went fishing with me yesterday out on the Manistee River. He had never done it before. Showed him the insights on it. You know, showed him how to drift fish. He's an avid angler, avid angler. So he caught on super quick. Within the first half hour, he's running smooth drifts down the river. Bobber's just liquid smooth down the river. Bobber shot down. He sets a hook. He gets a steelhead on for, I don't know, for a little while. That one popped off. He's drifting out again. He gets another one on. That one popped off. Um, I had a couple bobber downs that I missed. Probably a couple of, probably a couple of dinks. But towards the end of the day, uh, it was, he was getting a little chilly. I said, well, let's go. Let's just go anchor up in some place. I'll put some plugs out. And uh, I'll move the boat around a little and uh, see if we can get some plug bites going. So we did that. I put four plug rides out. And I had, let's see if I can see it right here. I don't see it. It's a Gritch. Um, 
we put that on on plug rod maybe five ten minutes and he and i were talking and i was talking to his mom as well who's there and i hear that thing pow, 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 and i know it's a big fish and i think it's just smoke and drag off my akuma and uh, i grab it up say here's one hand it over to him and that thing is still running down river fast as it can go i said well let's see we get some pressure on here i'm gonna have to take the boat after it so he actually turned the fish got a real nice uh not, not real nice set of pressure on that fish turned it turned it out of a log jam i mean this fish wanted to get away he of course he wanted to get away anyway he starts getting the fish closer to the boat and i can see the color you know five six feet down in the water and i thought to myself when i first saw the silhouette it's like that's a king that is a king a four-year-old king that has been somehow stayed over in this river all winter long and then i saw the red on the face and i saw the double stripes i said oh my god that is a huge steelhead so stevie <laughs> stevie he gets a look at it also and he you know his his whole demeanor is like oh my god i said i just don't miss it stevie don't look at it <laughs> just listen to what i'm telling you so he he, so he didn't look at it and uh, he, he coerced it coerced it and we netted it and it ended up being an 18 about an 18 and a half pound uh, buck steelhead uh hatchery fish too so i uh we, that thing hit the deck and he just he was so happy his mom was so happy of course i'm happy everybody's jumping around and he's you know can we keep it can we keep it and with a hatchery buck i said look it's up to you i haven't kept a fish all year long of all the fish we caught we, re we released every single one of them i said that's a hatchery buck um if we are going to keep one fish that's one that i'd say you probably could keep so absolutely they took it home going to the taxidermist he's got his uh, master angler patch coming and he is just over the moon and i put a i put a short video if you go on the channel and just watch my shorts go into the shorts column i put a video out yesterday showing it he was just such a such a happy kid. what a beautiful fish biggest steelhead i've ever netted big lake or river big lake or river that is just a monster steelhead so just beautiful color too like i said bright bright red orange face double stripe awesome absolutely awesome <clears throat> mike uh Dramatria, if i'm saying that right caught a coho the other day in the river yeah yeah i, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a couple coho showing up around here bill garlock great story yeah it's it's a story that tells itself bill um yeah just great 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 memory <coughs> thanks guys for the thumbs up appreciate that uh what else you want what can i answer you about the windrider suit or anything else if nothing else let's pop smoke we'll get out of here um and we'll do it all again next sunday don't forget check out uh don't forget check out the ultimate salmon derby and the ultimate walleye derby links are down below they should be drawing they should have drawn their next winner just yesterday or their most recent uh winner rather just yesterday they are putting the winner's names out on their own social media. I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to try to announce winners for them. We just haven't gotten on the same page for that. But if you want to see who the winners are, and I'll see if you want a nice prize, go check it out, man. And if you want to follow my social media, I post pictures all the time of our trips or anything going on. Go down in the description on this video. It's got all my social media. <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. I even do TikTok. Go figure too old to tick tock all right bill garlock thank you for uh encouraging everybody to hit the like button i do appreciate that and if you want to go out river fishing uh my website's down below if you want to go out on the big lake my website website is down below i'd be happy to take you out anytime and uh hope maybe we can go catch another 18 pound steelhead what a great thing that would be all right i'll give it about 30 seconds here i'll check into the poll again real quick and Rooting for the 49ers out in front, 31%. Chiefs, 24%. Just the commercial, 16%. Fell asleep <laughs> in second place at 29%. That's that's cool. That's what I did for a little while, like I said. Chad Douglas saying, early cohort run. Chad, hard to say. Uh, could be a very, very interesting spring, uh, the way that the, the weather is forming. Could be a very interesting spring. I, my gut feeling is, is it's going to be an early steelhead spawning run for sure. So yeah, I, I'm expecting like, I mean, I'm hoping 
for the mob to show up any day. Not the people mob, the, the fish mob. Bill Gerlach, I wish you I wish you lived closer also. I take you out. They make planes, though, Bill. You want to fly over here? I'd be happy to take you out, man. Anytime. All right, that's it. We're out of here. 45 minutes in. Thanks, everybody, for being here again. Any questions, links are down below. It should get you where you want to go. Otherwise, my email's down there. You can shoot me an email. I don't always get back to emails right away, so if I don't, I apologize. It might be a day or two or even more. Give me a couple. Give me, give me some patience, please. I get a lot of emails. I do. And I want to try to get to every one of them. So if I don't get to them right away, please, please bear with me. Anyway, that's it. Be safe. Go get your Windrider suit if that's what you want. You're not going to be sorry. All right, see ya.